it's not possible for you to be jobless as a carer in the UK. Now they're going to find you. Like, they'll be looking for you. All right, let's add this to the video. I am not in any way, shape or form an immigration officer or a legal advisor. I am only a nurse based in the UK. I share my experience. I share my knowledge and my findings just to help others. I'm going to give you a reason why I think you should take the care assistant job if you have the chance. This is entirely just my opinion. We are all entitled to our opinion. So please, please. I beg you, don't roast me because I know some of you, you're so tied to your white collar job, you want to be working with your suit and your tie, but please, don't come for us and don't send us your account number, okay? Enjoy your white collar job and let us do our own. This video is entirely for people who are considering, who are not too proud, who are considering coming to the UK and they're just a little bit confused and just need a little push. The first one is that care assistant job is not the least paying job. So it is not what you call a minor job for those of you that like white collar job. It is not the least paying job. I've said it in one of my video, what a care assistant we earn is almost equivalent to what a nurse, a registered nurse we earn working in the NHS as an NHS nurse, okay? Apart from the extras, the agency shifts they can do, the overtimes, your basic salary is not the least paying jobs. There are jobs that are paying even less, even as a white collar job, so-called white collar job. People that go to the office in the morning, close by 5 p.m. with tie on their neck, there are still jobs that pay less, okay? In so many countries, a carer's basic salary is what a top position salary would be in some countries, okay? So it is not the least paying job. That is number one. The second thing is there's job satisfaction. So there's job satisfaction in the sense that if you love to care for people, you see it as, I know the first few times it may be kind of ish, like it's really the first time you have to change somebody's part, the first time you have to wash people. You may be like, what have I gotten myself into? Even as a nurse, I did it, I'm doing it, I will do it, I will did it. <laughs> I do it all the time. Even as a nurse, you have to take care of your patient. Even let's say you're in dialysis unit, you're in A&E, anywhere you are. If you're in dialysis unit and your patient has pulled or eased themselves, you have to change the pad if they have no power, if they have no capacity to do so. You will have, as a so-called registered nurse, that you think you're bigger than somebody, you have to change it. So taking care of someone in the country or abroad is not a big deal. You have to change that mentality, that mentality that you have back home where ish, this some job are so made for people with no class. No, in the UK, a carer is not a anyhow job. You're into care, you're caring for people. In fact, there's a body that governs them. Triple S governs them. So they have a body that governs them. There's no job in the UK that is not respected. A cleaner, window cleaner, driver, everybody, they are respected. There's nothing like I'm this and your dad. And that mentality does not exist at all. So people don't treat you differently because you're a carer. You are still a human being who works hard to earn their money. And there's job satisfaction because you're helping people to get well. The family will like you. There's this fulfillment of, I've really helped someone. There's job security. It's not possible for you to be jobless as a carer in the UK. Now they're going to find you. Like, they'll be looking for you. As a carer in this country, they'll be looking for you because the aging population is going to be increasing. People with disability, people with high need, people that need care 24 hours. If you, if they're not taking you in this job, they will take you in the other job. So it is a job that is going to continue to be in high demand, just like nursing is. Health is one of the very important things in the world that cannot stop. It's not possible for the world to just stop needing carers or stop needing nurses. It is a job where there's job satisfaction. You may be with a company that is not so good. It is easy to switch to another company. Another thing is, especially if you're already in the country, you don't need any special qualification. Anybody whatsoever, anybody, as long as you have clear criminal record, you have the compassion, you're caring, you want to be, you can get a care assistant job. So you don't need to go and start studying, you learn on the job, you can build your qualification on the job, you can register to advance your career. In fact, I have some carers that became SVQ2, SVQ3, and they applied, they used that SVQ to apply to being a nurse, and they got admission into school to go and study as a nurse. I have so many people that even came to this country as carers and they've advanced. In fact, I know someone 
on TikTok, she came to this country as a care assistant. I think she was a dependent. She went to school, studied, had a BSc, became a nurse. Now she's a band six. So you can have career advancement even as a carer, okay? There is job flexibility. When I mean job flexibility, especially if you're dependent to someone, you're already in the country as a student or you're depending on your partner's visa to work and you want to take up a care job, you are so flexible. You can work anywhere, anytime, no restriction. Nobody's holding you, although you still pay tax and you still even get everything that your main applicant is getting there is a lot of flexibility you can try to work day you can try to work night you can work in the morning you can work eight hours you can work 12 hours there's flexibility you can try to go to this place today if you're an agency carer and you don't like the place tomorrow you don't go back there okay so there's job flexibility so what i would advise you is to please change your mindset about carers or if you hear people that say they are carers. In fact, I have so many people that will have even granted me interview, but because they are carers, they are like, what will people say if they see my video at home that I'm a carer in the UK? Change your mentality. Change your mindset. Carers, road cleaner, garbage picker, they are still human beings. You call them mini job, you insult them that they've gone abroad to go and do those dirty jobs, but you will send your account number for them to send you money. Change your mentality. Care assistant, carer job, caring in general. It is not a dirty job. It is not a menial job. It is a job with its own dignity. Trust me, except you're into care, you will not understand. But believe me when I say it is a job with dignity, although every job has its own disadvantage as well. Every job has its own challenges. I've been there. I know you'll be looked down upon. I know you'll, be, you, you'll feel, especially if you have the mentality, you'll feel you're being treated differently because you're a carer. You have this, this feeling of uh, self uh, you may not have self worth. Depend on your mentality anyway, and depend on what you want. But if you if you really want to go for it, sincerely speaking, you should just go for it. There's nothing that should hold you. You should go for it. Um, but please, I would advise you, even as a carer, try to advance your career. Try to advance yourself. If it is BSc you need to go for, if it is master, even as a dependent, what are you doing to advance yourself? What are you doing to improve yourself? You came in as a dependent and your partner, even especially if it's your wife, your husband, is going back to school, they are studying, and you're just there. What are you doing to advance yourself? Anywhere you find yourself, either as a carer or not, try to add value to yourself so that you'll be more marketable, okay? Try to add value to yourself and please, let's change our mentality, okay? Care assistant role is a good job. If you really want to go for it, I advise you to please go for it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been of a little help to you and I've given you a few reasons why I think you should take the job, okay? Please remember to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell, share my video to the others. I will see you in another video. You know how it is. Baby girl, Gloria, signing out. Bye.